Politics and parades have long gone hand in hand. This 4th of July weekend gave Cleveland's mayoral candidates a chance to finally be seen in person at parades and festivals. As our Mark Namick reports, the contenders stepped out at the city's popular West Park Parade today to push their plans to fight the city's crime problem. Dennis Kucinich, Grand Marshal in the parade that runs through Council President Kevin Kelly's West Side base. Days earlier, Kucinich generated controversy with his bullet-ridden depiction of the Cleveland script sign to draw attention to violence. Kucinich not backing off today. I want to say that the public response to our focusing in on crime has been sensational. They know they can trust me to make sure that we address crime and at the same time protect civil liberties. Kelly warning voters that gimmicks and words won't reduce crime and dismissing Kucinich's earlier proposal to hire 400 police officers. That is an irresponsible political statement. And uh, first off, you can't just hire four, it's hard to hire 400 police officers and you have to keep up with attrition. This is the same candidate that in 1977 said he was going to hire 200 new police officers but ended with a net loss of 138. It is, uh, it's not as easy as just throwing a number out. Justin Bibb arguing he's got the answers. I'm the only candidate in this race, major candidate in this race, that's endorsed the Safer Cleveland Ballot Initiative so we can truly have an independent civilian oversight board to root out the racism and bias that exists in our police department. And we got to better train our law enforcement and police officers to truly uh, serve the needs of our residents. And as a son of a police officer, I get both sides of that equation. Former Councilman Zach Reed, one of seven candidates on this year's ballot, earned a spot in the mayoral runoff four years ago with a singular message to fight crime picking up today where he left off. I'm just happy to see that the city and the candidates that are running this time are looking at the number one, number two, and number three issue, which is violence in the city of Cleveland. It's crime. If you don't do something about the crime in the city of Cleveland, all the other things fall to the wayside. Parades this weekend, including today's, also drew candidates running in the contested Republican primary for the U.S. Senate. And Chris Ronane, president of University Circle, showed up with an army of supporters to launch his bid for Cuyahoga County Executive, an election that doesn't take place until next year. But politics and parades are going to be heavily focused on Cleveland's September 14th primary, which is going to get us one step closer to a change of leadership at City Hall after 16 years. Reporting from Cleveland, I'm Mark Namick, 3 News.